Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar from the latest weather warnings so we still have this yellow rain warning issued for western parts of England and for Wales so we do continue to see heavy rain through the rest of Tuesday and even into the first half of Wednesday as well. Look at the latest UKV, look at the uh, precipitation and the temperature over the coming days as we continue to look fairly unsettled throughout the rest of this week with more bouts of heavy rain, potentially a few thunderstorms and just generally lots of heavy showers. Yesterday, the UKV had a lot of activity. Today, because of the positioning of the low has perhaps slightly shifted, that activity has shifted as well. And it does mean the focus perhaps today is a little bit further westwards with eastern areas perhaps getting spent some of the heaviest rain but of course we'll cover that in a few moments time of course the temperatures will be taking a hit of course with more rain more cloud it is always going to be cooler and for many temperatures are going to be average to below average for the rest of this week as we head into the longer range still looking pretty unsettled for the rest of april but lots of amplification in the jet stream with these diving lows these cutoff lows really giving some quite up and down conditions the gfs today by far the wackiest run as it does have a big low pressure system diving southwards in the mid-atlantic and actually draws up a very warm if not hot southerly wind it's not a stable southerly wind it has got low pressure associated with it, so it would be lots of heavy showers and storms but it could even be high 20s given the upper air temperature so we'll look at that of course in the second half of the video so remember if you enjoy the videos do like and subscribe so if you start on the live radar you can see the first big bout of heavy rain clearing through tuesday evening we have got mainly this big bulk of precipitation in the far west now most of it's out in the irish sea but it has been still impacting parts of wales and southwest england where we're still seeing some heavy persistent rain and for parts of the republic of ireland this will continue to push northwards and continue to spiral around eventually pivoting and stalling across scotland into tomorrow but by this point it has slowed down considerably and lost a lot of its intensity and will more be an area of organized showers now further eastwards alongside this big band of precipitation we have seen some heavy showers breaking out and you can still see they are reasonably heavy scattered along this line across parts of the midlands right now but a few hours ago this was some thunderstorms as it was moving through central england and down to the london area across towards bristol this sort of stretch across the m4 we were seeing some quite hefty but isolated storms breaking out with torrential rain a bit of lightning and thunder so as expected seeing some thunderstorms within the larger areas of showers and rain now if you look at the temperatures we're calling this around 9 p.m in the evening so it is getting a bit cool now and you see of course further westwards under the heavy rain it is coolest further eastwards a bit milder but of course temperatures are taking a hit pretty much everywhere if you look at the latest weather warnings you can see same warning that's been issued since yesterday so we won't run through this in too much detail but we are looking at a couple of inches of rain across many of these parts already probably an inch or so of rain has fallen but we could see further precipitation as we do head into wednesday as well we do have an additional warning here for eastern parts of Northern Ireland, again, for that rain stalling across northern parts. Um, and you can see some of the heaviest stuff is likely to sit across Northern Ireland through much of Wednesday. So here, again, we're looking at a potential for another inch, maybe two inches of rain. Now, do over to the latest UKV now, you can see that rain moving northwards, some thunderstorms early on its eastern edge, and slowly shifting further northwards overnight, giving some further heavy rain there for Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, into Scotland and Northern England. Slowly petering out, but staying reasonably heavy through much of Wednesday morning, before slowly turning into more showery activity through Wednesday night into Thursday. Now, for many further southwards, Wednesday actually is a pleasant day. More sunshine, drier conditions as this low does clear northward. So it's still really horrific out there for many. But where you avoid it, it's not too bad. It is, of course, April. So temperatures will respond accordingly where we see that sunshine. Into Thursday, we're actually in between systems. So there will be some showers around, some cloud. But actually, it doesn't look too bad before the activity returns through Friday and Saturday. 
but if you see the main bulk of the rain is further westwards and this is because the positioning of those lows has shifted now of course things can change this is three or four days away but on this latest ukv majority of activity is in the west so for those northern and eastern parts actually thursday through to sunday looks reasonably dry lots of clouds still getting thrown our way but generally speaking much better than the ukv was showing yesterday i wouldn't take this as gospel just because things can change very very quickly but perhaps tentative signs that it might be a little bit drier than we initially anticipated later on this week now to look at the max temperatures as we rest into wednesday pretty cool morning and into the afternoon where we avoid the rain and cloud in the far south and east maybe mid-teens 15 16 degrees with a bit of sunshine further north it's westwards under the cloud and rain hardly getting up of the mid single digits five six maybe seven degrees really quite cold there as we progress into thursday frost developing for some we've got clearer skies in the morning by the afternoon again temperatures responding accordingly in the far north where is of course still got some cloud and rain still in the single digits further southwards maybe 14 to 16 degrees into friday still cold across scotland and as we head into the afternoon temperatures responding a little bit more with a bit more sunshine around 15 to 17 degrees saturday a little bit cooler maybe more towards the mid to low teens and finally into sunday again maybe mid teens there so not looking too great if we're being honest over the course of the next few days but compared to what was shown yesterday it has definitely improved which is a positive and keep an eye on any of those further changes to see how we do fare later on this week. Now, if you do have a look at those long range charts now, you can see it's looking pretty wacky as we do press toward the end of April. Lots of uncertainty as a result of the positioning of the separate low and high pressure systems. You can see at the moment low pressure dominating with cut off lows from the main flow, especially later on this week, looking very unsettled there from the GFS, so perhaps not in line with the UKV which was showing a little bit drier through the weekend for those eastern parts. Definitely low pressure, not too far away, so I doubt it would be dry here from the GFS. Those lows eventually clear from our south and dive a bit further southwards in the north, in the mid-Atlantic. And what this does is drags up a very warm southerly wind for a time. And it could go very hot from this latest run for that final week or so of april look at this um, plus 10 or even 15 degree isotherm pushes in again we are in between very warm and cool air big big temperature clash so we probably would see some heavy rain and some thunderstorms but for a short period of time across the far east it could actually be very very warm progressively beyond beyond that though that warmth does disappear and you can see generally speaking it goes more unsettled there so we do head towards the first day of May. So a little bit of a blip there, perhaps a very short hot spell. Could be our first kind of summer, proper summer blast, not low 20s, maybe high 20s, proper summer blast there, if it is correct. But as we'll see from the ensembles at the end of the video, definitely by, themse by themselves this GFS run at this stage. But again, things can all change. If you look at the latest GM, broadly very similar over the coming days low pressure dominating through the weekend that cut off low still there to our south continues to spiral around into the start of next week but perhaps tentative signs high pressure building in now it's not a dominant high it's not going to sit over the top of us giving us dry and warm conditions but it's transient so it's over the top of us but it is heading northwards so although yes could give dry conditions and a little bit cooler conditions for a time with those northeasterly winds you see it is ridging towards greenland and it would unlock the doors to north or northeasterly winds so it could go very very cold in the subsequent days or at least very cold for the time of year as you can see these air masses exiting out the arctic towards scandinavia and most likely towards northern and western europe so complete opposite really to the gfs all due to the positioning of the highs and lows gfs had more of a european high this is, has more of a high extending towards greenland and that small shift in the northern extent of the high at this time of year can be the difference between very cold potentially arctic air and hot mediterranean air and that's why still a lot of uncertainty if we finish by looking at the latest ecm wf 
Again, broadly very similar over the next few days, those cut-off lows. Eventually high pressure bridging a bit to our north and kind of in between the GFS and the HEM with still quite some high pressure to our south, but also extending northwards. And actually we actually end up in a, a very good position. Low pressure is not really too nearby. And generally speaking, although yes, there is some cooler air around, it's actually not too bad. Yes, temperatures wouldn't be great, but there would be lots of sunshine and it would be pretty dry, which is definitely a real positive. Now to finish by looking at the latest ensembles, you see the latest GFS hovering in and around average for the foreseeable future, some cold runs in the longer run and some very warm runs, as you can see there from the big green line, which is that GFS operational run, which was kind of off the charts in terms of warmth there compared to the majority of our ensembles. So highly doubt it'll come off, but nonetheless, very interesting seeing GFS showing that out for the coming few weeks. You can see the precipitation signal is still fairly moderate, but you can see the next few days, especially later on this week, has dropped quite a bit. Uh, that could be a big shift, especially the UK V saw of less precipitation for the far east. I do think it completely not, not really impacting much of England at all is a little bit too exaggerated. I do think there will be some rain, but uh, perhaps definitely a shift away from some of the heaviest stuff later on this week. Finally, if we compare to the latest GM, it is broadly, again, very similar. Upper air temperatures hovering around average. But you see the upper air temperatures in the longer term, perhaps a bit more of a dip. And you see the operational run, which is the midnight run. So not the run we looked at also dips quite a bit as well. So again, interesting signs. Colder and warmer runs appearing there towards the end of April. So definitely looking pretty volatile there for that final few days. Precipitation still looking fairly moderate there as we do progress toward the end of April. But again, a little drying period coming up later on this week to enjoy, hopefully, hanging on for the bank holiday weekend. But as I said, things could change very, very quickly. And I do suspect there will be showers around that not even the UK are probably picking up at this stage. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed looking a little bit better in the shorter term than we thought yesterday. But of course, the longer term is still looking very volatile. And you can see some pretty extreme runs being shown today. So that GFS definitely is a very interesting run. I'll be yeah, watching closely to see if that does reoccur in the coming days. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.